Who that nation? What it do? TikTok, I'm live. What's good with y'all? So I'm doing my reaction. I'm doing my reaction to this LeBron son, Bronny, uh, having the cardiac arrest. Now, the first thing that I want to point my attention to is this LeBron James SB Award speech. Welcome to the stage. The GOAT, respectfully, LeBron James. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> get, your, get your speech in, LeBron. Oh, wow. Um, oh, wow. I just want to start off, first of all, by thanking my beautiful and amazing wife, Savannah. Um, uh, if any of y'all know her, I know there's a few people in here that know her. Y'all know she don't ever do shit like this, ever. And uh, the fact that I'm loving it, that y'all get to see the queen that I be with every day. Um, kudos to you, baby. <laughs> no, for our family, no one has sacrificed more and more hard work to support this family than you. And uh, I appreciate you for that. I love you. Uh, also want to thank my beautiful three kids, uh, Bronnie, Bryce, and Zuri. I mean, it means so much uh, to me to have you guys here up on stage. Um, I've been here over my 20 years on this stage uh, a few times, uh, but this one uh, is really damn special. Uh okay, so the first thing I want to point out with this speech, Burn, is if you want to watch the whole speech, to go over to ESPN, SB's LeBron reaction, and you can see that. The thing I want to point out is that he's over here starting off the speech with the sacrifice from his wife and his family for them supporting him throughout the years. Now, if you haven't watched his speech, he's gonna go on to talk about how he still has energy in the tank and how he, he can still play more years than what the NBA probably would like him to be playing, right? Because they're ready to they're ready to toss it over to Victor Wimbiamba if we're gonna keep it a thousand, right? Now, the thing is that I want to point out for the average man, for any man, is that like you can have it all, right? And Time is something that you cannot get back. Now, this night is a wonderful night. It's a beautiful night. And we wish the best for Bronny. We do not want him to be suffering from cardiac arrest. We would like to see him fulfill his father's footsteps and see him do better. Why would we like to see that? Especially me as a basketball fan. Why would I want to see that? Because it's truly sad that Michael Jordan had sons that didn't even make it to the NBA. So if LeBron could have sons that could make it to the NBA... That would be impressive. But it just goes to show you that, like, no matter who you are, no matter how much money you have, no matter what position you are in, that money cannot save you from every single situation. Now, I just dropped a motivational video today talking about how money is important. But, like, at the end of the day, it's important why you're living, why you're breathing, why you're in good health. But if you are in failing health, if you are going through a situation that's beyond your control as far as health, there's no amount of money that can save you from that situation or it can help you, you know, overcome that because money can't save you, at least yet, when it comes to um, health. Now, that they got, they got you freezing your body, freezing your brain, and freezing, you know, like limbs and parts and hopes that in the future they will come up with some kind of technology that can revive you and you'll be just like you asleep right so you know that's a, to that extent but we're not there yet we are in a position where we're talking about health we're talking about like how quick something could change so as much as everybody's hustling and bustling and trying to like become like the number one breadwinner in their family tree the family tree history 
just know that like at any given second like as much work you're putting in on this project as much work you're putting in on everything it can be taken away in uh, in a second so let's get to the main news bruh the breaking news was that it came out this morning now I want to stay before I play this that the weird because I'm gonna go to to the conspiracy theorists as well but the main thing is that I want to say is that like isn't that weird that supposedly this happened the day before and it did not come out to the next morning that he had went through this ordeal now if this was a rapper or if this was anybody else that wasn't that as high profile as he is then they, they would have told us exactly what happened they would have breaking news duh, duh, duh. and this is 30 40 minutes after it happens this is an hour after it happens and then everybody's praying and in uproar but in this situation it was kept private and it wasn't released to the next morning obviously they couldn't hide it anymore than the news about lebron james his oldest son the news that came out just over an hour ago and it is terribly disturbing news out of los angeles ronnie james it is our breaking news the 18 year old son of lebron james collapsed after suffering cardiac arrest during usc's practice it happened yesterday. The family has released a statement in part saying that Bronny is in stable condition and out of the intensive care unit. Here's the rest of what the family had to say in the statement as we take a look. Yesterday while practicing, Bronny James suffered a cardiac arrest. Medical staff was able to treat Bronny and take him to the hospital. He is now in stable condition and no longer in ICU. We ask for respect and privacy for the James family and we will update media when there is more information. LeBron and Savannah wish to publicly send their deepest thanks and appreciation to the USC medical and athletic staff for their incredible work and dedication to the safety of their athletes, end quote. Stephen A. Smith checked in on the James family and shared these thoughts when the news broke earlier on First Take. I was scared to death when I heard the news, checked with some people. They said he's okay. Obviously, before I saw the family statement, they were saying he's okay and he's doing better. When you hear something like this, you just thank the good Lord that the medical staff was there in attendance, that he wasn't practicing by himself with nobody around, uh, that there were people there to see and what transpired and ultimately come to the rescue. And we don't know how it's cardiac arrest, so obviously it's serious, but we don't know the intricate details. I'm just thankful. Thank the good Lord that he's doing okay and that whatever caused this is something they will identify and alleviate as soon as possible so he can restore his life back to normal. Yeah, certainly some of the news coming out about this seems to be good as we welcome in ABC News Chief Medical Correspondent. So I think that the uh, logical thing to be discussed, you know what I'm saying, by people right now instead of jumping into conspiracy theories or anything like that i think that the logical thing to do in this situation would to be like to move forward and assess where he is at in his playing career if he's still going to be able to play basketball if he's not you know it would be sad that he couldn't play basketball no more but at the same time it's about like living a long productive life and i don't think that you should risk i, I mean i mean personally i wouldn't risk my son's life if if, it, if I was just trying to get him to the NBA and he don't have a healthy heart or something like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, you know, like, all I'm saying is, like, it's better for him to be alive than to get hurt. Now, granted, in today's society, things are happening at a rapid rate. As y'all know, uh, the Buffalo Bills star, uh, what's his name? <laughs> uh, let me look it up real quick. Let me look it up real quick. Uh, let me look at that real quick. Um, Bills cornerback, Demar Hamlin. I don't even have to look him up. All right, so Demar Hamlin, right? Demar Hamlin is already coming back to play. So, like, clearly, in today they can they got enough technology to say, hey, you're still okay to play sports or whatever the case may be. Now we're gonna listen to this doctor on uh youtube brian stutter i always watch him every time somebody gets Ronnie james suffered every time somebody get hurt you know what i'm saying like i listen to what he got to say at least a couple of minutes it's a 13 minute video i won't watch all of it but i will at least try to understand exactly what he's saying cardiac arrest the other night while at practice and in this video we're going to take a closer look 
at what this story means and what exactly could have happened. Welcome back everybody, I'm Dr. Brian Suter. My goal in this channel is to help teach you more about the medical side of the world of sports. This is obviously a very serious story. Essentially, when someone goes into cardiac arrest, their heart has stopped beating and they're essentially dead until somebody is able to revive them or resuscitate them. And so this is about as serious a situation as we can see in the world of sports. We of course all saw Damar Hamlin go into cardiac arrest on the field earlier this year. And so this has been a little bit more prevalent in the sports world of recent. This was the statement that was put out this morning saying yesterday while practicing, which is important here, Bronny James suffered a cardiac arrest. Medical staff was able to treat Bronny, take him to the hospital. He's now stable and no longer in the ICU. Number one important thing here when we talk about this is that he was practicing. So presumably there was some type of exertional component or something that happened around his athletics. It wasn't like he was just in bed at night and had cardiac arrest while he wasn't exerting himself. And so this sort of story of somebody having cardiac arrest or their heart stopping while practicing or doing their sport suggests, of course, more of these exertional sports types of causes of cardiac arrest. Outside of cardiac arrest, of course, our heart is beating normally. There's a conduction pathway where electrical signals are basically moving throughout the four chambers of the heart to govern the control cardiac arrest. These again can be divided into the structurally normal heart or the structurally normal. becomes really thickened. It becomes hypertrophied. When it becomes hypertrophied, it starts to push up to something congenital. As y'all can see, brother's going to break it all the way down and have y'all understanding the whole anatomy of the human body. You know what I'm saying? Like, but even he don't know because like, he's not the doctor currently uh, working on LeBron, son working. He's not the one running blood tests on them or anything so like he is just only speculating this is all legit from this guy but y'all go over and check over check out brian sutter md on youtube he's great with breaking down sports injuries things that happen to athletes if y'all want to check that out so another thing i want to jump over to before we end this video is the conspiracy theorists yeah that's always the fun that's always the most funnest part of when some shit happened in the world. Is this going to be some conspiracies over to the left? Like, hey, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's possible that LeBron is sacrificing him right now. Do I believe that? No. But uh, let's hear what they got to say, bro. So, Bronny James suffered a cardiac arrest at a USC workout. To no one's surprise, mainstream media got a hold of this quick. And like I've said many times, when the mainstream media gets a hold of something and spreads it, you better question it. And Lord knows he's sheep will believe anything the mainstream media will tell them for one this is a form of energy harvesting they want you to feel sad and feel sorry for the james family and it's also a form of a humiliation ritual not every ritual has to be a crime or an allegation of a crime the fact that they made it a point to acknowledge that damar hamlin reached out to the brawny family tells you everything you need to know the same damar hamlin that collapsed on the football field and somehow in a matter of months made it to the super bowl and was cheesing it up and is somehow cleared to play football like none of that Ever happened. And furthermore, we talking about the same Bronny James that got 999, which is 666 tatted on it. Y'all see how they be doing it, bro? The 999 is now 666. It's reverse. I mean, but at the same time, bro, like, is this a real tattoo on, bro? You get what I'm saying, bro? And that's why you got it. That's why you can't never. That's why you can't never, like, you know, count it out. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not saying that I believe it. I'm not saying that. Hold on, let me see. Bronny 999 tattoo. How many images do they got in stock? Nah, nah. I don't see not one of the Bronny, bro. That's crazy, bro. But look, anyway, back to this crazy video, bro. Hold on, where, where, where was we at? Uh, TikTok shit. See, I ain't never seen that, bro. I never looked that deep. All I seen is him hooping. He was skinny. And he was a kid. And then one thing I did notice is that like he yoked up. Now, what's the main conspiracy about LeBron James and that clinic down in Miami? And when he went to Miami, what's the main conspiracy? Them roids. Them, ro them motherfucking roids, bruh. Okay. So if we know that like, you know, it's, he's tied to them roids, bruh. When I seen Bronny bulk up the way he bulked up over the last nine, eight months, bruh, I said they put him put bro on the cryogenics too. They done put him on the roids as well, bruh. So like I mean that was my conspiracy theory when I first seen it. 
But the 999, I never really paid attention to that. On his neck. And he's been part of the program. His life has been scripted out just like his father. And then in this picture, you see this man doing a hidden hand Freemasonic gesture. They're going to do everything in their power to make this man a star. So do not fall for the okie doke of this storyline. Okay, so that was one. That was one theory that I was like, okay. Okay, bruh. Okay. But there's a, here was another one. TikTok, this video is so fake, fake as fuck, just like you. But listen, did y'all hear about what happened to LeBron James' son? Bronny James, LeBron James' oldest son in USC, commit hospitalized at the cardiac event. Southern California freshman Bronny James, son of LA Lakers star LeBron James, was hospitalized at the cardiac event during a workout Monday. James was working out at the Gallon Center, USC's home. Now I gotta say, bro, you already know what she been ready to say. And if you don't know what she about to say, I'm gonna tell you before she about to say it. From here on, as long as we live in, right, in the sports world, if there is a kid that stops breathing on the field, if there is somebody that passes out and loses consciousness on the football field, on the basketball court, on the hockey, ice hockey, baseball, softball, if there is anybody that has any freaking heart problems that passes out, they are always going to be connected to taking the shot. Sorry, the bat. The cap. All right. Marina. When our emergency call was made Monday morning, the family says the younger James is in stable condition and he's no longer in the ICU. First off, all positive healing vibrations and energy to the James family and to him while he's recovering. Now, outside of that, how many of y'all have been rocking with me since I first started on TikTok? Shameless plug. She shouldn't have plugged herself right here. She should have just got to the point, bruh. New viewers is here. When I first started Tea Time Chronicles, if you don't know, down here at the bottom is the playlist. You can click on it and you can see all my videos. So, fun fact, I was like a, a COVID nurse from day one in New York, ground zero, when it first happened. And I seen some, um, some questionable things and I was trying to bring it out to the public without getting my ass murdered. I'm not saying that this is correlated to each other. I'm just saying that a lot of healthy people are dropping down right now. I told y'all back then not to not don't don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Um I tried to tell you the the <laughs> the stuff that I was seeing and how I the stuff I saw and how I knew it was planned um it's all about to come out with the i'm trying to choose my words because you know tiktok like to take my shit down um with the solar flares that's going on um with this veil lifting up a lot of the things that we tried to tell you and warn you about is going to become so glaringly obvious now Okay, so I'm going to stop talking all that BS right now. I'm just going to go ahead and say this, bro. Look, I respect anybody who feel what she's saying, right? Like, you have every right to say that, bro. But my main argument with these conspiracy theories, with these wake-up people, is always going to be like, how come y'all always say this, right? How come y'all always say this type of stuff, bro? But nothing never seems to come true now i'm the reason why i'm saying that is because like uh take for instance like uh the guy who did the info wars now i can't think of his name but when i'm editing the video i'm gonna put his name up there straight run tv that america will never reopen and that they have defeated us with the COVID hoax he used to be on youtube now one of the conspiracies that i believed with believed in and ran with my whole heart back in the 2012 and 2013 2014 is when obama became the president of the united states it was a guy that ran a show called the info wars i'm gonna put his name up there state run tv that america will never reopen and that they have defeated us with the COVID hoax. he used to spread conspiracy theories about how 
Barack Obama was not going to leave the office. He was planning to be there for the rest of his life. And he was going to remain the president. And so on and so on and so on. Then there was conspiracy theories about President Trump. How he was going to flip the script and find a way to become the president and be the president forever and ever and so on and so on. It did not happen. So these conspiracy theorists, they never know what they're talking about. Jamal, uh, what's his name? The world comes back now. You hear me? You see it, it started. It, religion's coming down. I'm seeing so many people de de denounce religion. Yes, finally. Down goes religion. The black dude with the dreads. He locked up now. I put his name up there too. He don't even know what he talking about, bro. Don't let these people come on the internet and wrap your mind up and make you think that like, oh, they know what they talking about when they in the same kind of house you in, when they in the same kind of apartment you in, when they in the same kind of hood you in. You know what I'm saying? I I can't get down with the conspiracy theorists because they never have real facts. They go by numbers and gematria. Get another fifty and shit like that. Here go another. Here go another conspiracy theorist. Talking about Bronny. Six ritual with LeBron James. So earlier this year, on May six, when LeBron James' son, Bronny James Jr., signed with the USC, I was talking about how it was a big ritual. So remember, that was the same day. So May six, you had Queen Elizabeth's son, King Charles' coronation day. Which, by the way, so King. Queen Elizabeth, her dad died at age 56. So her son's coronation was on May 6th, 5 6. And the Gematria, which the Gematria is the Catholic's practice of converting the. I just want to point out that bruh's motherfucking smoke detectors right above his motherfucking head. But he got Gematria fi figured out. But he got Gematria figured out to where he it can tell us something. How come conspiracy theories can never tell you something that can really help you in the physical realm? If they be talking about, you ain't got no water, you ain't got no beans, but they don't tell you how to get no beans or no water. They don't tell you how to drill for no well in your backyard or in your house right underneath your basement. They don't tell you no shit like that, bruh. These motherfuckers just tell you, it's too late. You should have moved when I told you. It's too late. Y'all should have listened when I told you. The letters of the alphabet to their American about Jewish mysticism. Royal family equals 56. So her dad died at 56, her son's coronation on May 6, 5, 6, when coronation was 56. And then Barney James, which Barney James Jr. was 56, he signed with USC on May 6. So the real King James, not his, not Barney James, so the real King James, his son was King Charles I. Queen Elizabeth's son is King Charles III. And on that same day, you had LeBron James play and win against the Warriors, the blue and gold team, which blue and gold equals 56, which I'll get into later. So yeah, he beat the Warriors on May 6th, and then his son signed the same day with USC, which I'll get into the Trojan horse definition later. Continuing. So yeah, Bronny James Jr. equals 56. A lot of people are saying it's because the COVID vaccine, he had that so-called collapse five months, six weeks, or five months, six days before LeBron James' birthday, which again, it's all, so it happened on 56, he so-called collapsed on 56 date numerology, five months, Six days before LeBron James' birthday, which is Barney James Jr. again, 56, COVID vaccine, 56. And, which again, so I say so called, which is probably a rich. Listen, bro, I can only take like a minute of that shit, bro. Listen. Listen, bro. If, if y'all got it all figured out with Jamantra, bro, get up out that house with that sky blue background and that smoke detector above your head, bro. Okay, I'm going to listen to one more person, bro, and then the video about to be over, bro. This is one more person from the conspiracy world. This is actually crazy. Bronny just committed to USC, and who's the assistant coach for USC is Eric Mobley, who is the father to Cavs star right now, Evan Mobley. There's a little scheming happening over here to get Bronny to the Cavs, which will mean that LeBron will also probably go back to the Cavs. It would make sense for Bron to end his career with the Cleveland Cavaliers, and to have Bronny. Now that was a dumb, dumbass, that was a dumbass conspiracy, bro. And I ain't gonna even say nothing else about it, bro. They gotta get bro healthy so he can play to the league. Get get healthy, Bronny. If this video reaches you, bro, I want you to be okay. Don't listen to the conspiracy theories. Just make sure that you get your heart okay, brother. And LeBron, just 
concentrate on being a good father for Bronny at this particular point in time. Uh, let me know what y'all think down in the comments, bro. Make sure y'all like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Till the next time I'm out. Till the next time I'm out. Even to the live. Shit, I'm out, bro. I'm out.